Hi, how are you today? Today I'm going to do a pair of coasters using this adorable specialty glitter from Recollections. It is called Tutti Frutti and it has the most adorable little fruit slices that I have ever seen. So I wanted to give them a try in some coasters. The resin that I use is Crystal Resin. It is a made in US product, but we do have a distributor up here in Canada and it's reasonably priced and they offer free shipping. So this is my resin of choice at this point. I haven't used too many other resins other than art resin and I'm really happy with the way it performs both on my art, my MDF pieces, and also in my coasters or um, you know more shallow type of casting resin pieces like coasters and trays and stuff. So I did put down a thin layer of clear resin and I made uh, sure that I went over it with my heat gun quite a few times. I'm trying to eliminate those little tiny bubbles that sit in the nooks and crannies of my molds because they're a pain in the butt to have to file and they're sharp and I don't like them so I'm trying to be a little bit more patient by um, heating up my resin ahead of time and then also using my heat gun more often to try to get rid of those get rid of those bubbles so I used a moderate amount of the specialty glitter um, I wanted to use enough so that you could you know so that it filled the mold but I didn't want to use so much that it that it overtook it I didn't level didn't use a little piece of MDF underneath my molds so they weren't level I could tell that the one was kind of careening off the edge so I just put it put a little stick underneath it I am using an iridescent pink glitter called pretty in pink this is uh, glitter that I purchased from my friend Kristen she's at chunky glitter company I will leave a link to her website she has amazing glitters and she is also Canadian so I ordered um, probably about 10 different glitters from her and uh, I'll be using those over the course of the next while here. So I decided that I wanted to add Sunset Orange Alcohol Ink in my final layer of the coasters here. I wanted to, you know, just add a little bit of color to it. I, I kind of like them clear here with the, with the glitter kind of sparkling through, but for some reason I decided that it needed some color. So I decided to use this alcohol ink and um, I just put a thin layer. This is basically my top coat with a little bit of alcohol ink added into it just to get the resin to the top of the mold and get that nice little slight dome effect so that I don't have that sharp edge on the lip of the coaster. I am not completely convinced that I like this color in fact, when I go to unmold it, I decided I definitely do not like this color with this glitter. But I'm committed now. It's a little too late. And here we are. So I'm just pushing the resin up to the edges. I do hit it several times again with my heat gun just to try to get rid of as many bubbles as I possibly can. So the next day I go back and demold. I had to say hello twice there. So I do not really care for these at all. That orange alcohol ink completely ruined it for me. I don't know what I was thinking there. I had several ideas and the alcohol ink idea. I mean, it looks like gazpacho. Look at that. <laughs> the glitter is just adorable and I completely ruined it with this alcohol ink. But that's okay. I think I'm going to try another set with the with the specialty glitter and either use a different color alcohol ink or maybe just use like a solid put a solid base down first and then put the glitter on top. But the glitter is just as just cute as can be. And I mean, if you like gazpacho, then maybe you 
you like this. I maybe should have used pink and it would have been more of a sangria. Anyways, thanks for hanging out. Let me know in the comments what you think of these funny looking little coasters. Bye!